announcement is in the bulletin. We're continuing in our study of the Sabbath, so we hope you'll be able to come uh, and join us. That's Tuesday morning in the library. Just want to let you know. How are you this morning? Good. It's good to have you here with us today. You know, when Jesus came, he opened for us God's doors. He opened doors, God's doors. What do I mean by that? Let me put that up there and show you. The doors that God opened. Now, there are many, many doors that Jesus opened for us to go through for God. Okay, And I'm going to show you a few of them. There's just a few of them. But you'll get the idea as I show you. And I want you to tell me as you see each door what that door opens up to. Okay? What's that door for? Church, exactly. How can you tell? It's got the cross above it, right? And there are churches everywhere of all different types. They don't have to have a door that looks like that. Some churches mean in their homes. And it's a door that just looks like the front door of a home. Uh, there are all kinds of doors, but wherever God's people gather, anywhere, that is the church. And so God, Christ opened the doors. Come on up to Christ opened the doors to the church. We'll wait for you. Hi there. How are you this morning? Good. Well, come sit right here, okay? So that's the first door. We're talking about doors that God opens up, Christ opened up for us when he came. They were God's doors, okay? Let's look at this next one. What's this a door to? It's a jet airplane. Now, how would that be a door, God's door? How would that be? How is that possible? Well, stairs do come out, but I'm going to shift another door like that one later, okay? What happens is people get on airplanes, right? And they travel, and they travel all over the world to help people. Christians do that. We do that. What's that? Say that again. Oh, really? Very good. Very good. I know. I know you did. I know. So you go, you travel, and you go to places and help people. So that's kind of one of God's doors, isn't it? If you, one day you may travel somewhere to help someone who's in need for God. If Christ opened that door for us. I want to show you another one of God's doors. What's that? What kind of door is that? That's a prison door. Now what do I mean by saying that's one of God's doors? Well, it's yeah, but you, right, it's a prison door. But you'll notice that Jesus told us to go visit the prisoners, people who were in prison. Jesus said, Jesus himself said, I was in prison and you visited me. And he was talking about us caring for people no matter what their circumstances are. And when I have worked in a prison before and gone to visit these folks and, and uh, prayed with them and helped them with their families, it's a wonderful thing to do. But yes, he told us, to, God told us to go, that's one of God's doors that we're to go through and help people who are suffering greatly, uh, all of us. Okay, let's look at another one. What doors are those? Not an office, but close, close. Well, what kind of work? It's kind of hard to see. It's a hospital room. It's a hospital. Yeah, there you go. Hospital door. And again, those are God's doors. God opened those doors for us. Christ told us to go visit the sick as well. And people who are shut in, and people who are, are hurting, and we go help them. So, God, oh, that's one of God's doors, okay? All right? I'm going to show you one more. I think one more. Yeah. Where's that door going? That's heaven's door. That's exactly <laughs> correct. You got it. Today, we remember the names that we read and we rang the bell when you just, we started? They rang the bell. We were remembering and celebrating those who've gone through that door and are with the Lord now. And that door will be open for us one day, a long, long time from now, but Christ taught us that that door was open to us, and God opened it for us to be with God forever. And that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Let's bow our heads and pray. What were we going to say? Anytime, anytime, God always has that door open for us, always, at any time. So it's always there. We don't have to worry about that. Pray. Let's pray. Pray after me, okay? Dear Lord, Dear Lord 
thank you, thank you for opening many doors. For opening many doors. And also, and also for opening the doors of our hearts. For opening the doors of our hearts. That we might love you. That we might love you. And love each other. And love each other. As you taught us. As you taught us. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys. Have a good class.